The words winter and wheels don't necessarily go very well together, do they? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the now chosen process that I like to use for cleaning the wheels on my car. And in that process, I'm gonna be using the three products seen here behind me. That's Young Wheels, Young Undress, and Young Foam. Now you don't necessarily have to use these products, you can use many others out there, but I've learned this process from other detailers in the uh, industry and also on YouTube. If you enjoy the video, do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Do also check me out over on Instagram and otherwise, welcome to Wayside Carvality. Righty ho, a very grubby wheel here in front of us. And uh, previous coatings on this wheel was Yum Ceramic Spray, two coats of that on the alloy wheel. And uh, on the tire was Yum Dress version two. So uh, let's get on with the process now and start off with a very thorough rinse. And here you see my MTM SGS 28 stubby gun with a green nozzle, giving the wheel a thorough rinse down and uh, also not forgetting that those wheel arches as well. Okay, and that's the rinse down done now. So as I change over to the foam cannon there, that's the uh, MTN uh, PF 22.2. Uh, we get the first product out and that's Yum Wheels. Now we spray this on neat, uh, avoiding the brake discs if you can. And uh, getting that nicely uh, spread over the wheel faces and into the barrels. Then next up we have Yum Undress and if you have seen in my previous video which is the engine bay detail this product is a dedicated tyre cleaner but also can be used uh, like I have done in that previous video as a degreasing agent for a engine bay detail but today we're using it as it's supposed to be used to undress those tyres. And then with those two products on the wheel now working together we put a layer of yum foam over the top and into the wheel arches and leave it to dwell. So as we wait for the product to dwell, just putting the nozzle back in the end of the stubby gun, giving it a quick test so uh, we don't have it flying out the end of the stubby gun and hitting the paintwork of the car. A little close up here now with the wheel, you can see the raspberry swirl starting to build as the products get to work on the wheel. And then a close up now of the tyre, and you can see the Yum Undress working well there, pulling the dirt out of the tyre, turning that foam brown. So that's uh, been left to dwell, and we'll get on now with the clean. And uh, there is a reflection of a bucket in the front door there, uh, and in that bucket, I've got uh, my brushes. This one, first of all, is a Valet Pro brush. And uh, there is no product in the bucket, it is just simply been used as storage. And all I've done is uh, used the pressure washer to uh, rinse the uh, brush first of all before applying it to the wheel and uh, got on using the products that presently are sat there on the spokes and in the barrels. Working at all those points, I always make sure you get the calipers, obviously in the wheel nuts, and on these uh, Pretoria wheels they're called, I have a trench or like a canal that runs between the spokes, which is always quite difficult to get into. Oh, hello, here comes the cup of tea in the reflection there. So yeah, like I say, I've not used any product in the bucket. I'm just simply uh, using the pressure washer. There you go, just rinsing it uh, with water. And every time uh, I take it away, give it another rinse using the pressure washer only. Apply no extra product. So using the Wheel Willies brush here to get into those barrels and the 
products there doing a very good job. Another rinse there with the brush and down the other side of the wheel. Okay, with the final rinse of that uh, wheel woolly, I am using that to do my wheel arches. These are plastic wheel arches, and uh, after I finish with the wheel woolies, giving it a nice thorough rinse out with the pressure washer. Uh, the next stage, I've got the Garage Therapy wheel mitt, and uh, with these skinny spokes on uh, these wheels, it's very handy. Not forgetting to put the loop over the thumb for control. It gives a much better control if you have that loop on. And uh, yeah, as you can see, getting around those spokes nicely with this fantastic tool. Okay, the final stage, and that is using the Yum Cars tire brush, uh, working away at the tires. And uh, the previous coatings there are Yum Dress version two, and probably before that it was uh, Garage Therapy's tire serum. So both of those soaking away in that tire nicely over the last couple of months. And uh, as you can see, the foam is not going very brown at all, even though the car hasn't been washed since November last year. And uh, not forgetting the groove around the edge of the alloy there, making sure that you give that a good scrub too. Okay, for the rinse stage, just giving that bodywork a bit more of a rinse prior to it being washed. Check out the uh, water behavior on that wing. Uh, but with the rinsing stage now, moving the uh, jet of the uh, pressure washer nice and slowly over the uh, tire through the wheel arches. The slower the better because you're distributing more water and uh, getting a better rinse rather than waving the uh, nozzle around all over the place. See how it takes that product off of the spokes. Looking good. And uh, shortly now coming up will be some uh, finished shots and uh, first one will be without the wheel being dried uh, and no uh, gel or coating or conditioner put on and you'll see the water behavior on the tire here it comes yep there you go nice finished clean wheel ready for drying and dressing and uh, I put yum detailer on it here we go and another coat of yum dress version 2 and a final uh, thank you and shout out to Nick at Yum Cars for putting up a video on his channel over at Yum Cars and uh, showing us the process of what I've used today. And also a shout out to uh, David Epic Car Show for endorsing that as well. If you've enjoyed the video, please do subscribe and give the videos a like. And until next time, thank you very much. This is Wayside Carvaliting signing out. Ciao.